turn to be broken. <laughs> Who got the door closed? Somebody closed the door. Thank you, Bruce. Right. Bruce, go ahead and return the key. What's that? They want the key put in the drop box, right? Besides the brick sense. Okay, I'll remember that. You want to do it? If you want, they need it tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Okay. Right. Whatever. Take it back. No, we need to take it back. He was in the meeting. Yeah, the key. Right. All right, why don't, we, why don't we open this thing up for discussion? Um, we have a representative from Cato Engineering. John Kato's staff here, and your name is just for the people. Uh, Matthew V. Allen. Matthew, Matthew's from, from Cato. He works for Cato that did the site plan for this property. And I don't know, do you want to say anything first? Probably the easiest way to do this is to have you review the plan with, with the commission and anybody here would like to look at it. We can answer any questions specifically about the plan itself, and then if people would like to say something. If you have to leave, let me know. We can, uh, unless you want to say something now or you want to wait for him to. I, 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 I'll listen. For, I, I, in, the, in the interest of fairness, I'll listen. Okay, for, for okay. Fairness. And just do me a favor. When you feel like you have to leave, then let me know. We can give you a few minutes. I'll be brief. That's okay. Everybody have the plan? You, you want the plans in front of us? Sure. You can you have the plan out. Yeah. Uh, just put it up so everybody can see it. As you can see from the plan, um, uh, the property uh, is over an acre in size, uh, but really only the eastern portion uh, of the property is, is the usable piece that will be developed. Uh, as this is a valley, uh, the west side is landlocked by uh, residential properties on, on its west border, uh, and Gondola Avenue is the only access to it. So. Um, what you've got is a three bedroom um, rectangular proposed dwelling um, located really in the southeast corner, the furthest southeast corner you could put the, the project. Um, you'll see on the plan the stream that exists runs through the middle of the property. Uh, there's a 100 year floodplain that we're not proposing to disturb within. There's a wetland uh, that's delineated by the triangles further east of the floodplain line. And again, we're not disturbing anything within the wetland proper itself. Um, where you see the disturbance for the home um, and for the, the on-site wastewater system is all outside of the wetland, but it is within uh, the 50-foot perimeter wetland and the 100-foot riverbank wetland that are controlled by BEM. So we are for BEM, that's what this is in response to. It's a, it's an application to disturb those areas that are within the, the buffers. Um, Does everybody see what, what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. just, just want to make sure they, uh, they understand where the lines are. Red flags, right? This is the 100-year floodplain, and this is the 100-year um, stream. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, there's, you know, we're, we try to minimize as much as possible and, and still provide the, the development of a residential home. Um, there's well and mitigated plantings proposed along that buffer. Um, and the septic system has been located as far away from the stream and the wetlands as it could be. Point out the buffer again. Put up the buffer. Oh, so so yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, buffer. Yeah, the edge of the clearing, essentially. Right, exactly. Okay. That delineates Limited the disturbed as well. The disturbed area from the undisturbed area. And, and that's that's the standard mitigation measure when you are within wetland law first and you're proposing to disturb those. That's a very standard way that the DEM requires that you try to make that transition. So in the future, you don't go beyond that. You know where your limits of, of your disturbance were and where you, where you approved to do that. And they set that line. Um, and as noted on, on, in the field there, the home will be set on the front setback, um, which is, is two reasons. One is you know, the septic system needed to be 
in front of the house and as far away from the wetland as it could be placed. Uh, and that front setback is is really in line with the other houses on the wall to keep that um, so that, that the character of that street the same way there. You know, that's and that's essentially what's what's being proposed. And the, and the, and the ISDS is is it, is it bottom of sand. It's a bottom of sand so it's it's the most advanced treatment you can see for Everybody knows what the bottom of the sand filter system is. Okay. Okay. So can I just ask a quick question? Yeah. This, no. this, this line here indicates a hundred year riverbed wetland. So it goes from there to here. And this line that runs in front. Mm -hmm. So so this would be, for example, can you explain what that means? Uh, DEM has regulations on a stream that's less than 10 feet wide. You have to have a hundred foot, or they, they recommend this, this one hundred foot riverbank wetland that is associated with that stream. Mm -hmm. That if you're capable, you develop outside of that. That's a buffer zone. So it's a, it's a regulatory wetland, mm -hmm. right? Regulatory wetland. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and the house is within that wetland. Right. Right. So, yeah. so if you're capable, yeah. that was sort of the key phrase there. And Correct. If you're not capable, and then, you're not, then, you then you ask for this type of relief, and that's the process we're in. Do you fill not fill? I'm sorry. It, it, uh, on, 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 are you going to fill there? Uh, the, is the house in a septic system could, could, could point to be filled in an area? Well, well, what, 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 what will we raise stuff like fill? Um, no, there's proposed grades, which are the darker lines with the boxes around the numbers. <coughs> and if you look at those compared to the lighter numbers and the dashed lines behind them, uh, we're pretty much on grade. So it's some grading, but no, yeah. It's just natural grading. There's no. Okay. Do we know where the, the that last storm was? Like the 150 year storm we just had? Where that would have been? Was it 100? Was it? <laughs> we don't really know where it was in that neighborhood, do we? I, I don't. Yeah. Maybe the neighbor. Yeah. Uh, uh, and if I could mention a couple of things which I think. Do you want to identify yourself? Do you have the other thing? Okay. okay. Okay, Timothy Yench, uh, uh, 401 Gondola uh, uh, Avenue. I'm also treasurer of the James Ventures Association, which is what I, I, I have to leave. Uh, uh, other houses in this area are built on fill. Uh, the, uh, the, septic, the septic configuration follows what is, is common down the street, which is septic systems in the front, wells in the back, bordering the wetlands. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, obviously, the, uh, the stream flows from this lot past the three houses down from uh, the, uh, uh, the area. Ha uh, uh, the, uh, you get water coming off the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, upper reaches of Gun, which can come down. It does create some issues with the uh, septic systems there where, where, where they get overloaded a little bit because of the uh, high groundwater. It, it, uh, it is a problem. Another issue is that there's a large amount of iron in the uh, water. All three homes uh, have uh, filtration systems. They have to because of the uh, iron and also because of the fertilizer washing off the lawns and coming down. Obviously, this home is upgraded uh, in terms of the stream from the other three homes. I know I, I had to go over to natural fertilizer because of uh, issues in my well being degraded by some of this stuff coming downstream. Obviously, my, my, my major concern is the disruption of this area and the disruption of the absorption effect from uh, 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 from A, the excavation, and B, what the, the potential homeowner might do down the road. And uh, in terms of the flooding, I will answer your question. The homes on both sides of me did flood in the basement during the uh, uh, the, the recent storm. Can you point out your uh, home? Excuse me. Yeah. Is your home on the project? Uh, 